Okay, I should be recording. So, my boss is awesome and got me a free trial to Zoom Info. So, I was diving in here a little bit, looking up some different stuff, and and so far I'm I'm impressed. Um, it looks it looks pretty standard as far as the database goes. Um, you can use these filters over here to add specific things. Like, let me see. I'm still kind of messing around with this, so let me see. Uh, I have Java, microservices, Spring Boot, software engineer. Let's just do back in so you can add in like these terms and we'll put it up here. All right, so I put it in back in because I was looking for a, a back end engineer and it'll populate all that stuff. various options you basically use these filters to add your keyword list here you can look for software engineers senior software engineers I was also I'm going to try to do this on professional side as well seeing that I learned because I've never actually looked into zoom or just site searched in is you get more information than I thought so you get a lot of times you can get a direct phone number that's a business phone number by the way I thought it was just all business information uh, th this right here this is the supplemental email that's a yahoo account guys so that's personal emails as well and you don't have to click a button to unlock this it's uh, it when, if you have access to zoom info it's it's unlocked and it's pretty easy to access which is something that i like something that i also like is that there's social networks right here so you can literally look these folks up in case you need more information they've got a full profile um let me pull up the export again. You can also export your results, which is also very nice. And it also tells me that LinkedIn is used heavily for the data because I see all these LinkedIn profiles. Very seldom do I see, uh, I don't see much outside of LinkedIn profiles. I mean, there's a couple people here and there, um, but just by looking at this list here, you've got their email addresses, email domains I don't see a supplemental email you have direct phone numbers that's nice do not see the supplemental email got the, the zoom info URL lots of information good list obviously it's it's more data than what you can you can usually scrape with some of the scrapers um, but I'm curious I'm gonna see if I can pull in the details this might be a failure but we'll see so I just want to see what I can do. What is, do I have to read? Okay, so that doesn't unlock too much stuff. I want to get web references. I want. I mainly want to get this stuff. I don't really care too much about this stuff here yet, because that would that would require a bigger scraper than I probably have time for right now. So let's see. Okay, I mean, I'm in data miner. Let's see what's public. Got a few people that have built some stuff. Okay, that's, that's not getting much. Person basic. Do we have, do we have any winners? Not really. So it looks like we're gonna have to build our own. So let me see. Recipe. Let's see what we can build. Uh, what we want to do rows. Want to find control. Shift. Shift. Primary contact. Con how about contact details? Actually, we want to do all these. It. that's what I want to see okay yep that is it it's getting the main thing that I want the other thing is I've noticed these I, I, I was looking for New Jersey and Connecticut and I already saw a couple of like, like one of these folks has like that's a global number okay that's probably his e his email his business email so that might not be 100% up to date. Okay, 
let me let me pop some of these other people open. So we have at least five here. Columns, let's do columns. Let's go up here. Let's go to find. A uh, bunch of stuff I don't understand. Yeah, that'll work. That's the name. Six. Oh, I, I already got. I already got further than most people. Okay, let's add another column. Uh, let's do title. Confirm. Let's make sure that that's right. Yep, that's right. Uh, this word might be a little bit tricky. Phone section. Sure, I'll do phone section. What do I get when we do this? <gasps> They're both. That's nice. Okay, phone number. And I, I mean, I can split this out into an Excel spreadsheet if I need to, or I can manipulate this a little bit. Dot 10 text content. Sure, I'll do dot 10 text content. Okay, so it get, gets both their emails, it looks like. Because I get a Gmail and yeah, I mean, it's not ideal, but just through this this basic stuff, I uh, was able to pull in more than one email, and they don't even have that built in, which I I don't understand. But uh, let me see if I could split this out because I don't want the business; I want mainly the supplemental stuff. So if I go here. Is it all the supplemental ones? Oh yeah, look at that, okay. Uh, it might be not AOL, Yahoo, Gmail, yeah, so that will separate, separate out personal email. Okay, but I can do the same thing for this. Yeah, but that, that's okay. I can go back later. Uh, let's add another column. Let's let's go location section. I want and so I want their specific area, current location, local location. I can I can pull in the HQ, but we're talking from the candidate perspective, so. It probably won't do me as as good as going just straight local. No, I don't want to do that. I want to go there. I want to go location. I want to go see if I can get. Okay. I'll do some digging on that. Let's see if I just change this. Nope, that's not gonna work. Dun, dun, dun. This is this is why it's not always an exact. What's what happens if I do this? No, no, no. We'll just do it that way. Because important thing is that you get a location. So I've got a location. And apparently I've got the HQ address and I want the about. About content may not get all of it, but look, I get a good overview. It gives me an idea of who they are, what they do. I could probably go back and map some of this stuff here, but really I'm just want to do a quick pull for email and phone numbers just because I want the personal emails in addition to, to the, um, 
the company emails. I want I want all the information. So let's see. I don't I don't need to navigate this actions. So the other other thing is that since I'm scraping the profiles this way, I have to open up each one in order to pull in pull out the information. So let's see. So if I do this, when I do the final, let me save this too. I want to save this. I don't want to lose it. Zoom info profile. And I'm going to put 2021. Let me put my name on there. Save it. Okay. Now I've saved it. Taking a look at it, seems to be seems to be running okay. Let me run this and see what happens. This is a data miner, okay. Okay, and I got I got ten people because that's how many pro profiles I opened up. I've got their personal email. Of course, I need to clean that up, clean that up with Excel. But I got their personal emails and their company emails with a bunch of other jargon here. Oh, I got both of them here. Oh, yeah, that's right. So I got both of them here. And then I separated out the personal emails. So I could use for future reference, because I didn't see that in the um, the export function, which zoom info, you've got to check, you got to, you got to, you got to adjust that. I mean, that's, that's something that's uh, pretty awesome that you need to have out on the export function. Because um, I, I know it's there. It's just that the export's not pulling it in. So still like great information here, but I don't see any Gmails on here. And I was able to find several Gmails otherwise. These are just company emails and for recruiters, for sales folks, for, for lead generation. Yeah, that personal emails is gonna be much more powerful than a company email, which if you're at a, a company email, you're not going to be as likely to respond. They might still respond, but if you're if you're in recruiting or marketing, people are going to be more likely to check their their personal email. So hopefully they'll get that fixed. Um, and you know, I'll make this public so people can use it. So if the if the team there wants to take a look at it, more more than happy to to show the interior of how I did that. Well, I guess I just did. But uh, regardless, I mean. Yeah, this is great information. I'm still, I'm still messing around with this, and uh, I want to do some more searches, especially around leadership. But I was, I was really surprised because I wasn't expecting to find a lot of engineers here, and I, I see there's quite a bit here. Of course, I'm going, I'm going very specific with this type of search. I've got 29 results, but they all look very aligned to what we're looking for. Um, for, for our bank. So, yeah, I was going to just make it a five and hack, but I was like, well, I'm going to build out a, uh, a scraper and show everybody how to see it. So, and I'll also make this public because I saw a couple of, saw a couple of these, um, but they weren't pulling, they weren't pulling a lot of information. I also try to refine this if I sometimes do so, but, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to run through this and show you guys my process I do this. different sites so many different ways that you can do this for just about any site that's on the internet they've got a profile so i just had having to uh, have a child's info that we're still testing out and so i was able to, to do some live stuff so but yeah um yeah if you have any other questions uh, you can ping me uh please share and subscribe thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later